welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be teaching you how to get this look right here. I wanted to do something that was different from all my last videos. I usually always do very heavy contoured glam and I wanted to do a video for you guys out there that want a little bit more of a natural look. I know this is still probably not super natural for some of you guys, but it is very glowy, it's very wearable, and I feel like it's super easy to do. So if you wanna learn how to get this really glowy summery look, go ahead and keep watching. So my face is clean, I have zero foundation on, I have my brows done right now, but let's go ahead and we'll start with the skin. When you do glowy, just like fresh makeup, my thing's always starting with amazing skincare products. So I definitely wanna focus on skincare first because my golden rule is if you wanna have beautiful makeup, you have to have beautiful skin first. So I'm gonna show you some of the products that I've been obsessed with to get like a glowy, just really flawless complexion. And the first one that I'm gonna show you, this is from ZO Skin Health. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you know that I go and I get my hydrafacials from this spot in Beverly Hills, like literally every two weeks and it changes my skin. It basically like uses the suction to pull out any pores as well as it spits on your skin um, an amazing chemical peel that just helps your skin like hydrate and exfoliate and just feel super fresh. These are called the Acne Pore Treatment Tea Pads. And what these do is basically they have 2% salicylic acid and I'm gonna do one on my skin right now. They look just like this. And it comes with a separate you know, ointment and pour it in here so that they are um, really saturated. And then you go ahead and you just put them all over your skin and then it's gonna really help to exfoliate anything that is inside of your pores. I really like to focus this on my T-zone because that is where like my problem zone is with like, my pores and I don't really focus it anywhere else on my face. So all along the T-zone, this is just gonna help really make your pores look tiny. It does tingle a little bit, but if it doesn't tingle, that means it's not doing anything. So we want it to tingle. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's like all the dirt that was like on my skin, probably like leftover makeup from last night. Ew. Okay, so once I have exfoliated my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to apply an oil. And oil is super important if you want to do that really glowy look. And I love this brand so much. This is called Image Skincare. Um, I think that they are amazing. When I did a lot of esthetician work and I did facials and everything, I always used Image Skincare, either their cleansers or anything like that. And the Vital C is my favorite line from their entire skincare line. They have like a bunch of different types. But this is called the Hydrating face oil and this is a super lightweight oil it hydrates nourishes makes your skin not look so tired and it's going to add a lot of glowiness to the skin because we want a really glowy look today so it is like an orange it's almost like orange you guys can see it's orange color but don't worry it won't tint your skin and i'm actually going to put it straight on to a beauty blender just like this Ooh and I'm gonna apply it all over my skin. I'm pop on a cream on top of this just so I get like the ultimate hydration and I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Water Cream. It is almost like a drink of water for your skin, like total H2O and the packaging is so cute too. onto my decollete. Okay, so once it is all over your skin, we can go ahead and just let it set and you can go ahead and do your hair, pick out your outfit at this point, and about five minutes later, we can come back and we'll be ready to apply our foundation and get onto glowy summer skin. So for today's look, I'm gonna be using the Born This Way foundation. This is from Too Faced. It's an oil-free foundation. It's super lightweight. I feel like it looks gorgeous on every type of skin tone. I'm gonna to be using the color Nude. And for my bronzing, I'm gonna be using the color Golden. It's a little bit more warm, so it's gonna help me match to my tan. And the brush that I'm gonna be using is from Sigma. It is the F50. This is a duo fiber brush. And duo fiber brushes, 
they're gonna give you a lot more of a natural look to your skin. So we're gonna be able to see your skin a little bit more. Your skin's gonna be breathable. Your foundation will look a lot more softer and lighter. Whereas something like a brush like this, which is a little bit more compact and dome shaped, this is gonna give you a more full coverage. But for today's look, I want something super light, super natural, something that we can do really quick on our way to a party and we wanna look super glowing. So let's go ahead and apply a couple drops to our fiber brush. So all you wanna do is kinda of stipple it onto the skin at first and then we can go ahead and we can start to buff it into the skin. Just in circular motions, just like this. So this is my first layer of foundation. I definitely could wear a lot more than this, but I wanna use a brush that's a little bit smaller than this. So we're just gonna be applying a little bit more onto this. And the reason why I'm going to be using a smaller fiber brush is because I want to get into the tiny nooks and crannies on the face in between the brows. So this is going to allow me to get into those small parts, whereas this is going to get all over my brows. Okay, so once our foundation is setting a little bit, let's go ahead and start to bronze up the face. So I'm gonna pick up the golden shade and we're gonna go ahead and start to bronze the rest of the face. I'm gonna be focusing on the outer perimeters of my face, so the forehead, the cheekbones, along the jawline, and I'll probably bring it down a little bit onto my neck just to make sure everything blends. I have a hair. So this is a really nice golden bronzy foundation shade so it's perfect for just like a really nice soft contour because we're not doing really intense contour like i usually do i usually really really sculpt my whole face we're going to be doing a little bit softer because on an everyday basis to do full heavy contour it's unrealistic or is it i literally contour my face every day I'd be lying to you guys if I didn't. But for today, for those of you out there that don't want to contour so, so much, this video will be perfect for you because it's not gonna be crazy sculpting. So we're just gonna apply a little bit on each side of the cheekbones with our smaller stippling brush, and we're just going to softly blend it out. Okay, just like that. So we look a little bit more balanced. I have a little bit more of a closer skin tone to my tan. I get spray tans all the time, so my face never matches. But now with our bronze, oh, there's still hair on my face. Now with our bronze, we look a little bit more balanced to our body color. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the under eye concealing because I feel like I have a lot of darkness under there. And one of the products that I really wanted to show you guys and share with you that I love for under eye brightness, if you have a lot of darkness under there, the Eve Pearl Salmon Concealer is like, holy grail, the best concealer for covering darkness. And so you get two different colors in there. You have one that's more salmon and then one that's a little bit lighter. You can apply it on top of that. I'm gonna use just the salmon color today. I'm gonna be using another concealer to put on top of that. I'm just gonna be using my fingers to apply the salmon concealer. And we can even apply it on our eyelid. like an instant wake me up under the eyes. Like I feel like it instantly just makes everything look like I've been awake and I'm ready for the day. Okay, so after you apply the salmon concealer, that's gonna be a color corrector, so it's really gonna help with darkness, but I still want to put a concealer on top of that to brighten up under the eyes, and I'm gonna be applying the Bye Bye Under Eye from It Cosmetics. This shade is called Light, and I have not used this one yet, so I am trying this for the first time, but I've heard so many good things about this. I've just heard that it really brightens up under the eyes, so let's give it a try and see if it is worth using. 
So I've heard that you just need a, to use a very small amount of this product. I barely put like probably even half a pea size and the texture of it feels very thick. So I feel like less goes a long way. Wow. Wow, this definitely brightens under the eyes. So I'm just applying it with my fingertips. I'm making this as easy as I can for you guys using the least amount of brushes. For those of you out there that don't have a lot of brushes, this is going to be a very easy tutorial. Okay, I still feel like I need to blend it out a little bit. So if you do have a beauty blender, that's what I would suggest to blend this out rather than a brush. Okay, I'm kind of obsessed with this concealer. Look how bright it looks. Definitely, definitely worth a try. Ah, I love it. Okay, so our face is basically on other than our blush and highlighter and a little bit of powder. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys what I've been using for a very glowy, youthful look with blush. I've been obsessed with this product. It's very different because I really use a lot of powder blushes, but I saw this at the store and I loved the color and I needed it. So this is from Sephora. It is their waterproof technology Insta Blend. This is their cream blush. So what I like to do with this is I like to spray it onto my blender and I just like to press it onto my cheeks where I like to apply my blush, but you definitely want to shake this thing. And the color, if I can show you guys, shake it more. So it looks like, oh my gosh, my hand is so white. I'm sorry guys. But so it looks like this. It's like a really soft peach, but it has a little bit golden tone into it. I want to compare the color a little bit to Orgasm from NARS, but in a liquid form. So we're going to go ahead and apply this to a beauty blender and then we can press it onto our cheeks. By the way, if you guys crease a lot underneath the eyes, if you want to set your concealer right away, we can go ahead and do that. So really quick, let me just show you guys how I just lightly dust some powder underneath there just so this doesn't move at all. But we don't want to apply any of this powder to the rest of our face because since we are gonna be using a cream blush and we are also gonna be using a cream highlighter, if we set that, it's just going to crack and look really, really dry and we want this look to look very hydrated. So let's just put this just under the eyes and then we should be fine. I'm gonna be using my favorite colorless translucent powder. This is from RCMA. You can get this at Beautylish, that's where I get mine. It's super affordable and it's just a really good translucent for under the eyes or all over the face. I'm gonna be using a brush that looks just like this. This is the Morphe Y14. And I am just barely pressing it under the eyes. You can go on your eyelid if you like. Just like that. Okay, so go ahead and apply your cream blush to your beauty blender. And I'm gonna have you guys turn it around like this. So we're gonna apply it to the butt of the blender just like that and don't go straight onto your face after you apply it to this because it's gonna it looks like there's like steam coming out of this but if you apply this straight it's gonna look like a dot on your skin so we want to use our hand as a palette and then we're gonna go ahead and press it onto our cheek okay now that you're closer to my face i'm picking up the product and i'm just pressing it into my cheekbones and barely tapping it upwards towards my temple. I know it looks shiny right now, but once we set the rest of the face, which is a tiny bit of powder, it will look like it's just blended effortlessly. It almost gives you just like a pinch of color to your cheeks, like you've been running miles and you just look fabulous. Okay, once our blush is done, we can go ahead and we will move on to the highlighter and then we can set everything. I'm super excited to show you guys the highlighter today because this is one of my favorite, actually kind of my only favorite liquid illuminator. I don't really like liquid highlighters. I feel like they don't stay in the right place or they're not bright enough or they just look 
weird to me. So I mostly tend to stay with powder highlighters. I love my collection of highlighters. I'm a highlighter junkie, but when it comes to liquid, my favorite highlighter of all times for illuminators is from Iconic London. These are beautiful. They are the illuminator drops. They come just like this and they have all different shades, but my favorite is this one. This, I don't know if it has a name. I will put down below exactly what name this is, but it's not the lightest one and it's not the darkest one. It's the one right in the middle. It's a gorgeous champagne color. So I'm, I'm just going to put a little bit onto the tip of it. And we always wanna just use the back of our hand as our palette. If you don't wanna use the back of your hand, you can use an actual metal palette, but I just, as an artist, I've always just used the back of my hand. So we can go ahead and straight up apply it. Look at this, it's ridiculous. So apply it straight to my temple, and I like to go the side of my brow, and then I even go a little bit onto my forehead. This is a glowy look we can go all out with the glow. We can go on the brow bone. This is like so gorgeous for brides. Like I always use this on my brides whenever I want to glow them up because once it's on and it dries, it's on and it's not gonna move. So I'm still just using the RCMA powder. I'm just taking a very little amount and I'm just putting it in any areas that I want, just I don't want any shine. And you can even go over the highlighter with this powder and it does not go away. So what you're doing is we're just setting the highlight so it doesn't move, but it's not necessarily going to take away any of that glowiness, which that's why I love this powder so much. So once our face is done, we can go ahead and move on to the eyes. And for like a beautiful summer glowy look, I like to just use very minimal eye products. I am obsessed with just eye glazes or eye polishes that give you like a full glow glam look without using so many eyeshadows. Like I'm not going to be using a full on eyeshadow palette today. I'm just going to be using one eyeshadow color and a little bit of eyeliner and then super natural lashes, a little mascara and we're good to go. No, I'm not gonna do any wing liner. For an everyday quick look, I just barely line the inner part of the eyes to hide the lashes. And if you don't wanna wear lashes today, you don't even have to, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more and I'm gonna wear lashes because, girl, there is nothing here. So let's go ahead and let's move on to the eyes. I'm not even gonna be using an eye primer. I'm gonna go straight in with the eye polish. And the color that I love to use is Satin. This is a pure eye polish from Pure Minerals. It is gorgeous. It looks just like this. You want to shake this just like this. Super pretty. It's like a really pretty pearl pink. Looks just like this. And this technology has a little trampoline inside, so there's just a little product that gathers right here. You can go ahead and use your fingers if you want, or it also comes with a brush. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to go straight in with my fingertips. And we're going to apply this all over the eyelid, just like this. But this is like a super pearly pink. It still adds something to the eyes, but you don't need a lot of eyeshadow with this look. I feel like you could just wear these eye polishes and it dries really quick, so you're not gonna get any creases, but you still get a glam look for like a party. Okay, eyeshadow's on. We're done with that. Let's go ahead and move on to the inner corners of the eyes. I'm gonna be using these Joy crayons. I've seen these and I've wanted to use them for so long. They look like this. Ooh, can't see it. Anyway, they look like this. Crayons just like this, but they have like a beautiful glow to them. So this color is called Serene. It's like a really pretty, almost like rose gold shade. And then there's also this one. This is called Rococo and it's a little bit more of like a yellow shade 
super pretty so i feel like this would look gorgeous in the inner corners of the eyes so i'm going to apply rococo right into the inner corners i almost feel like this would be so pretty on the cupid's bow okay okay so the eyes are basically complete we don't need to really use any other eyeshadows if we want but i did want to show you guys a trick for underneath the brows to brighten them i used to use this pencil all the time this is from NYX Cosmetics, and it's called the Wonder Pencil. You can basically use this with anything. It says concealer, eye brightener, reverse lip liner in one, but I actually like to use it underneath my brows to kind of highlight under there. So what I like to do is just basically line the whole underneath brow. So just like that, and then I like to use a concealer brush and we just barely blend that out. I'm gonna be using this Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner and it is the shade Spice. So you can use really any eyeliner that you want. If you want a more natural look, I feel like going with a more taupey or brown or gray toned liner is a little bit better than something harsh like black. So I'm gonna be using this really soft toned it's almost like a taupey brown, it's not completely brown. And I'm gonna focus it more into the actual inside of my eye because I don't wanna have any definition or straight wing or anything. I'm basically gonna add it just straight in the under part of the eye. Even if you wanna close your eye, you can go ahead and apply it that way. And we're barely just going to apply a little bit more to the outer corner just like that but nothing more you don't want to wing it out i feel like if you want it to look a little bit more natural we don't want a wing i'm super excited to show you guys the lashes that i have today when i did all my brides and i used to do so much makeup the lashes that i use were these ones here they are hands down my favorite natural lashes i use a lot of like super thick lashes with really thick bands or with clear bands but these are definitely not like a designer or anything crazy like lily lashes or huda beauty these are a little bit more natural these are from la creme they are called just a number they're number 43 lashes and they're really soft the band is super super thin and they're a little bit wispy i would say they're not as wispy as the demi wispies from ardell but if you have those they're very similar to these these just wing out a little bit more at the end so i like the flare that it gives your eye when i put these on eyes i feel like they just kind of give a little bit of like a light doll look you'll see when i apply them but i really like how they make my eyes look so if you don't want to use lashes, you can go ahead and just apply a mascara. So for an everyday just mascara, I use this on top and bottom. I use the Voluminous Original from L'Oreal. I've used this since I was in high school and I really love it. I'm still going to coat my lashes right before I put my falsies on because I don't want to ruin these falsies. I want to use them a bunch of times. So if you put your mascara on first, the lashes just kind of lay on top of them and you can reuse them a bunch. The closer you get to your real lash with the lashes, the more real these are going to look. I mean, they're still fake lashes, so they're never going to look too real. But if you do get closer, you're not going to see them as much and people will mistake them with your real lashes. But if you can see how pretty these are, they just add like a really nice open doll look to the eyes. Still super soft not dramatic like the lashes that i usually wear i love super thick lashes but if i am doing a, a lot more natural look these are my go-to's you know i feel like this is definitely wearable for any type of event so i wanted to do a little little bit of nose contour and i'm going to be using the hula benefit bronzer this one's cute because it says my name but anyway, I love this bronzer and I'm just going to be barely applying a little bit to the tip of my nose just to bronze it a little bit more and add a little bit of definition. And I'm using my nose brush if you guys didn't notice. Okay, so I'm going to apply a little bit of highlighter just to the tip of my nose so that everything 
kind of looks glowy because I feel my, like my nose looks a little bit matte right now. So any highlighter that you want, you can apply to the tip of your nose. I'm going to be using this one from Lancome. If you guys haven't seen this, this is so pretty. Look at what this highlighter looks like. Like a rose, I love it. So I'm just gonna be applying a little bit of this highlighter, highlighter to my nose. This is gorgeous, and this is called oh, this is called La Rose. A Padre. I can't say it. I can't say it. But it's their blush illuminator iridescent blush highlighter. So it does have a little bit of pink tone in it, but that's totally fine because and it looks like that you gather all the highlighter from the rose petals. So that is where all the glow is. So now that we're done with basically majority of the look, we can go ahead and move on to the lips. This is from Lancome and it is number 270 Beige Vintage. It's a little bit more soft and this is more of like a lip tint, so it's nothing too dramatic. So I'm going to be applying this lip liner in 06. It's called Rose The. So you want to go ahead and shake these guys, I guess, and I've never used them, so definitely excited to try this part. And then I think you just apply straight, ooh. So this is how the look is up close. I love how it looks. It's really glowy. It's definitely wearable for every day. And I love how this lip turned out. This is the Lancome lip and I feel like it's super hydrating. It's really pretty and it definitely dresses this up. If you want to wear this look with a new look, I feel like you totally could and it would totally make it a lot more soft and natural. But I still feel like with this lip, it kind of just adds a little hint of color because I know that this is a very glowy champagne pink look. We don't have a lot of color to the face, but the lips definitely dress it up. If you guys love this tutorial as much as I do, I feel like this look is wearable for really any event and I feel like it's so glowy and soft and breathable. For those of you out there who think that I always wear super full coverage, well, I usually do. But on days that I am lazy and I just want to wear something really light but I don't want to go to that out of the house looking like a freaking zombie, I wear something a little bit more along the lines of this look right here. So let me know what you guys think about this look. Leave your comments down below and definitely don't forget to subscribe so you can see more of my videos. I love you guys. I appreciate you all and all the support you give me and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.